I'm looking to sell my cassava sciences uh, within the next couple of weeks for $56.32. That'll give me about a 56% gain on it. I bought it about a year ago, and it's been up and down, as I'll show you on a chart, uh, because there, it was involved in a short squeeze. And they've pretty much put that behind them. And uh, it's it's in the field of a drug that is suppresses Alzheimer's. And they're in the third stage clinical trials. And it it looks like they've got 200 people that have had a pretty positive effect from it. So I think it could even go beyond the 5632. But that's my target before the end of the year. And it's currently selling for $42.69. But I want to show it to you because I think it has some potential and it could open some possibilities for you. I've done six videos on it in the past, but let's get into it a little bit deeper here. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Last night I attended a webinar hosted by Peter Diamandis. The first book I read by Peter was Bold, um, and it, it's basically about how people progress as an entrepreneur. And then the, the next one I read was... Um, the future is faster than you think. And then I'm reading one currently that he did with Tony Robbins. And he made a statement in there that I thought was very profound in that the future, in the future, and he says no one can see more than two years in the future because it's coming so fast. We will all have a AI co-pilot. And they ask him, where do you see the greatest advancements made in the next two years? And he referenced that of, of bioscience. And, he, and in fact, he said something about um, you will, through your blood uh, chemistry, be told what to eat for your body and how to control your weight and how to um, make the best of your life. And that relates to me as to what is going on in Kahava Sciences. These people are using artificial intelligence and data to make strides into the improvements of our lives. Uh, and certainly one of those is to find a way to stop the advancement of um, dementia and that of Alzheimer's disease. And that's what this company is working on. And I, as I said, I, I bought it about a year ago. I've been up and down, and I want to explain that to you. But I want to bring it to your attention uh, so that you can make a decision. Is this something that um, artificial intelligence, is this one of those first steps that we're going to see that's going to change the way we, we live and, that, and, and that's going to stop the disease that, that kills us? That also takes me back to a book that I read um, called Lifespan, and it's by uh, David Sinclair, PhD at uh, Harvard University. And he basically says, we don't need to die. Uh, we just need to take those things that kill us out of our body so that we can live on and have better lives. And that, as I say, is what Peter was uh, referring to, and that's what I think Kahava Sciences is about, and maybe this is one of the first breakthroughs. So I'm going to spend a little time and share with you what I've experienced. I've owned the, the, the stock for about a year. I've been on a roller coaster ride. So let's dive deep into it, and then you can make a decision whether this is something you want to go for. This is my trading views chart on uh, Kahava Sciences. Uh, there's an affiliate link in the description. I'd encourage you to add this to your toolbox, that is, trading views. It's the best I've found. Uh, oh, and as I, I, I've indicated here, this is where I bought it. I bought it back in uh, December of 2021. And as you can see, I've had quite a ride. I've gotten all the way up, uh, and that bought that price was at about thirty-five dollars, thirty-six dollars, and I, it's gotten all the way up to uh, sixty-two, and then it got involved in a short squeeze. Uh, it was some people who were basically saying that uh, cassava was 
um, manipulating their numbers in their tests and uh, they they got beat up and as you can see it went all the way down to uh, about sixteen dollars in May of 2022 and then found another lower place at about 1434 in uh, July and then the Wall Street Art Journal came out with an article and pretty much debunked um, everything that the short squeeze people were and uh, basically revealed who they were and what they were trying to do and um, that brought it up to fifty dollars and seventy eight cents and then it's it's basically reacted to the market um, and as you can see it uh, it broke over its um, 50 day moving average here just recently on uh, December the, the 7th and now has found its way up and that's basically on some reports that maybe as early as later this month they will be releasing their clinical trial um, on uh, 200 patients and the numbers appear to be quite strong. Um, I'll share with you the uh, Seeking Alpha article that I read on that so that you can feel comfortable with that. So where is its its resistance? Well, its, it's first level of resistance is going to be this high of about uh, $51 that it achieved back in, um, in um, September of this year. Uh, then from there, it will go, I would think, up to about 62. And that's the kind of the target that I have on it. From there, uh, it's, it's hard to say. Uh, if, in fact, they do come out with a drug that is going to cure or at least uh, freeze Alzheimer's where it's at, its, it's next high point will be um, $145. And then it could go anywhere from there. And I got to share with you, and you'll see this if you'll look at some of uh, Jacob's uh, articles or his, in, in Seeking Alpha or his videos on my channel. Uh, this is a young company. It's, uh, it's basically a husband and wife who uh, have built this and believe they have a drug that will be will, will actually be better than what Biogen came out with and Biogen has, has since kind of moved to the side. So that's a, a graphic look at uh, Cassava Sciences and um, let's talk a little bit more and let me show you the, the Seeking Alpha article. This is my Seeking Alpha page, and as you can see, um, Cahava Sciences is up 6% today at 42.72. And I, I think this had something to do with this article that uh, was written, actually it was written on December the 8th, so that's about five days ago. Um, but I think it is the latest information to give you some understanding of what Cahava Sciences is all about and what they've been through. So let's go over and take a look at the article. And what you'll see is um, that he is, a, he is going to give you a summary of the drama that has, uh, that has resulted uh, uh, of this smaller company, uh, a $1.4 billion market cap company that has pretty much disclosed that it, it believes it has the next earth-shaking drug to stop the advancement of Alzheimer's disease. What he also does in the article that I think is very important is go through the various filings that they have made uh, relative to a lawsuit um, that was started by Brett and Pitt uh, in 2021 um, that was driven by a short squeeze to profiteer off of this drug. Uh, and it went on for a while and then was kind of rebuked by the Wall Street Journal back on November the 3rd when they said, no, uh, these claims were unfounded. And in fact, that Cahava Science did have something of, of meaning. And on November the 4th, they released a, a article to the Journal of Neuroscience, which gave 
credence to their their followings. Um, so this is something that I want you to read, and if you have any interest in Kahava sciences, so that you are in fact um, informed and you have done your due diligence before you make a decision. Okay, that's my best shot at it, to bring you up to speed. Um, and you make your decision, is this something I want to get involved in? But again, I want to refer back to the, probably the biggest event in my 70 what is it now, 76 years of life, was the coronavirus. It affected more people on this earth than World War I, World War II. I wasn't really, I was at the end of World War II, but it, it's, it's made us knowledgeable that we are susceptible to disease. But as I said in my lifespan learnings, uh, we also know that as a result of artificial intelligence, uh, quantum computing, um, the general intelligence, this is all going to change. And I think Kahava Sciences may be one of the first. Okay, I'd be interested in your feedback. You might notice I have changed the format of some of my videos. I just want to share my knowledge with you. And if you're game for it, we can work together. Talk to you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.